So in this video, I want to answer the question, which is larger? Is it 13 over 20 or is it 3 over 5? Now, the problem in this case and the reason why you might not be able to make an immediate answer is because the denominators are different. We're not comparing like for like. Twentieths are not the same size as fifths, and so it's difficult to compare the two. So we need some way of rewriting them uh, so that I can compare them. Now, there are a couple of different ways of doing this. The one I want to focus on in this video is converting the fraction into a decimal. Because in the long run, this is what you would practically do okay? um, in general scenarios. So I will do it that way first. So convert from fraction into decimal. And if you want to hang around and see uh, another way of doing it, where I will aim to get them both with the same denominator, so I'll find an equivalent fraction with the same denominator and then do it that way, um, then please stick around. It's something that you would need to be able to do uh, anyway, but I will cover it in more detail in a later section. So, let's convert from a fraction into a decimal. How do we do this? How do we go from a fraction into a decimal? Now, one thing you might notice is that a fraction looks eerily similar to a division symbol. Because three-fifths is exactly the same as saying three divided by five. So we have the numerator divided by the denominator. And that's how you can convert a fraction into a decimal. You take the numerator and divide it by the denominator. So we do 3 divided by 5. Now, you should be able to uh, divide 3 by 5 um, using a formal written method, so doing it by hand. It might be something that you can do in your head. Uh, it might be a, a decimal that you already know. Um, but you need to be able to do it formally as well, so a division like this. So we'll go through that um, in a later video, so we'll build that up. But for now, I'll let you type that into your calculator. Uh, 3 divided by 5, you should get 0 0.6. So 3 fifths is the fraction. This is the process, 3 divided by 5, and that's equal to 0 0.6. So that's 0 0.6. Right, 13 over 20. Well, we'll do the same thing. 13 over 20 is 13 divided by 20. OK, and again, you need to be able to do that longhand or be able to uh, do that in your head. And that's 0 0.65. So, which is larger, 0.65 or 0.6? And of course, 0.65 is the larger one, so 13 over 20 is larger than 3 fifths. Okay? So, that is how we can do it by converting them from fractions to decimals. Now, an alternative method would be to get a common denominator. Now, there are two ways that you could do this. The first way is to find a lowest common multiple, or the least common multiple of the denominators. So we write that as LCM, lowest common multiple or least common multiple of 20 and 5. So we write down the multiples of 20. So I'm just going to write that, 20, 40, 60. And we write down the multiples of 5, so 5, 10, 15, 20. And the moment that you get to the same number, 
So in this case, 20. 20 is a multiple of both 20 and 5. And it is the least common multiple, the lowest common multiple, because it is the first one that I've come across. It's the lowest number. And so it is 20. So that means that I can write both of these as something over 20. Now, of course, that one is already 13 over 20, so I don't need to do anything to it. But the 3 fifths, however, I need to write as something over 20. Now, if I've converted from fifths to twentieths, I must have multiplied the denominator by 4. 5 times 4 is 20. So you need to multiply the numerator by 4. 3 times 4 is 12. So 3 fifths is equal to 12 over 20. So which is larger? Is it 13 over 20 or 12 over 20? And of course, it is 13 over 20, as we had before. So that's another way of doing it. Now, I said that there was another way of getting them with a common denominator. And essentially, it's a bit of a brute force method um, where you multiply this fraction, top and bottom, by 5. And you multiply this fraction, top and bottom, by 20. So you multiply the fractions, top and bottom, by the other fraction's denominator because that forces you to have the same denominator. So I would multiply this number, top and bottom, by 5. 13 times 5 is 65. 20 times 5 is 100. Now I multiply 3 over 5, top and bottom, by 20. 3 times 20 is 60. 5 times 20 is 100. So 13 over 20 is the same as 65 over 100. 3 over 5 is the same as 60 over 100. Which is larger? Well, clearly, it's the 65 over 100. So the 13 over 20. OK? So those are skills with fractions that um, I will look at in more detail in coming videos. But I wanted to include it here because some of you will have those skills already. Um, some of you will want to kind of preempt those skills and just see what is coming later on.